Bills can be added in a couple of different ways in Xero. In this, uh, this invoice, in this video even, we're going to cover the manual way of adding a bill. Um, and in other videos, we're going to cover using Dext um, as a way to get input, um, receipts and bills into Xero. So the manual way of doing it is very similar. In fact, it's pretty much identical to um, sales invoices. Um, and there'll be three ways you can do it. So you can either do the add button up here and go to bill. You can click down here, new bill, or you can go businesses and bills to pay. You'd then click on new bill and you'd fill it in, in pretty much the same way as you would um, a sales invoice. So who it's coming from, the date of the invoice or the purchase receipt you've got. Um, so let's say this is something that came in yesterday and it's due in 30 days. And then you'd put the invoice number. So I'm just making one up here. You'd then put in um, what you've bought from them um, and the corresponding account code. Um, so if it is something that you're buying to sell on, you'd use one of the three codes um, or the code starting 300 your purchases or your direct expenses, for example, or if it's something else, um, like one of your admin expenses, you can look for it. So in this example, it's something that I'm going to be selling on. So it cost a good sold. Again, you can choose the tax rate. So it'll automatically default to 20% VAT on expenses if um, you're VAT registered, but you can change it accordingly. And it needs to be the VAT that shows on the invoice or the receipt. If you're not VAT registered and you've got it set correctly, then it'll automatically go to no VAT and it won't have any effect. And you just then put in, <coughs> excuse me, you then just put in the full amount that you're paying or paid. Um, and then what you can do is you can take a picture um, of the invoice or the receipt, or if it's come from your email, you can say, download a copy. You can then click on here and upload a copy of that receipt. Um, so you've got a copy saved in zero and you don't need to keep the original. You'd then click on approve and it will then show in your bills to pay section. So here it is. And this again is very similar to um, sales invoices. So you can put them in draft if you're, um, Working on a load, you can, if you need a two-step approval for the payment, so say um, somebody in accounts puts them all on the system, but a manager needs to approve them for payment, you can save them as a waiting approval, a manager can come in approve, so that they then move into pa awaiting payment. And then from here, you can see all of the invoices or bills that you need to pay. Some of these could be ones that you've already paid that just need matching to the bank feed, which will then get marked as paid. And other ones are ones that you may actually physically need to make the payment for. So it all depends on how up to date your bookkeeping is. Um, and you probably know if it's your own business and you're doing this, you'll know what's already been paid and what needs to be paid and so forth. And you can put in here a plan date of when you plan to pay it. And you can see just exactly the same as, um, invoices if you've got part payments or you've made a stage payment towards it or something so it's really helpful there and again once it's marked as paid either via the bank rep or manually on here or maybe into paid and exactly how sales invoices repeating or sales invoices work um you can do the same for bills so i hope that makes sense um and you can then see how um bills work in zero Thank you.